Hi right, Chelsea fans, it's Thursday, it's the 23rd, yep, 23rd of April. This is your five minute Chelsea news. We're going rustic, we're not going to use a green screen, we're just going to get straight into the news because there's some big news today and Williams in talks with a surprising club in the Premier League. It's not Tottenham. Let's get cracking. Very quickly, guys, this is my website, as you can see, chelseadaft.org, with all the latest video content on there and the written word. Check it out for me. First up, this interesting article on Football London. Antonio Rudiger, Reese James Emerson, Chelsea's defence, ranked worst to best. They take a look at their strengths and weaknesses in defence. Starting with the fullbacks, bottom to top. Emerson Palmieri at the bottom in fourth, Marcus Alonso, Reese James and Cesar Azpilicueta. Centre-backs, Tomori rated bottom, surprise, Andreas Christensen, then Kurt Zuma, and then Antonio Rudiger as the best. Tony Rudiger and Cesar Aspi rated the number one in the full-backs and the centre-backs. What do you think? Post your comments in the comment section below. So to the Philip Coutinho move, which is touted to be completed shortly on loan, Gary Neville has come out and slams the Chelsea board over the transfer pursuit amid the coronavirus crisis. And he's questioned the decision to try to pursue this big money move. As I said, I think this will be a loan move for a year with money paid at the end of that year to sign him. Not necessarily a big transfer fee this summer. But Neville said this. It's like a parallel universe. Cesar Azpilicueta has apparently been in talks with the Chelsea board over the past three weeks as they're looking for a 10 to 15% pay cut. For the Chelsea players to hear that, and in the next breath, to hear that the club are looking to buy Coutinho for 75 million, it's like, what one is it? If I was a player now, I'd be looking at ways to throw that potentially turns into a cut at a certain point of time. But if the club increase their budget or sign a player for 75 million, you have to pay our money first. I'd say you can't go and sign a player for 75 million and say you can't pay me fully. It's just illogical. It doesn't make sense. I have to say he's got a great point, but I think it'll be a lone move first, as I keep saying. Another pundit has come out. We had Alan Hudson talking the Chelsea legend yesterday, trying to, to explain that we need to avoid Coutinho. Gary Neville's now talking like that about the move. Now Jamie Redknapp believes that we shouldn't sign Coutinho because of one player, and he believes it'll affect Mason Mount. He said this, I don't see this one as a goer. It's an awful lot of money. I really like him. He's an extremely talented player, but he hasn't got enough goals. They've got Mason Mount there too. Frank's obviously given a lot of trust in the young players, and they've come through. William and Pedro are out of contracts this summer, but I just don't see them spending 79 million on a player, especially with the way the club's been running recent years. When you've got Mason Mount coming through, why would you want to risk him not having the opportunities? He's a top player himself. And I actually have to agree with Jamie Redknapp. I think he's got a great point. What do you think? Do you think that if we sign Philip Coutinho, it's going to hamper Mason Mount in the Chelsea first team? Let me know in the comments section below. As featured on my channel in yesterday's news update, Jorginho's agent has come out and insisted that he's happy in London, but there's more on that quote which wasn't covered yesterday. And it confirms he's received two offers for Jorginho from two top clubs and they're not Juve. I've received official offers from two clubs. I cannot say who out of respect for Chelsea because we're not allowed to negotiate at the moment. And as I said before, there is a will to stay at Chelsea. But it's normal for a player of his calibre to be of interest to other clubs. The only thing that I can say is that they're two of the top eight clubs in Europe because we're not talking about just any player, only the most important clubs in Europe can afford Jorginho. It's always a double-edged sword, isn't it? It's one minute he's coming out and saying he's going to stay at Chelsea. The next minute he's thinking of his pockets, he's thinking of the money he can get from commission from the deal. And he's obviously trying to tout him about to say, oh, there are offers. And, you know, just giving Chelsea a bit of a nudge see if they'll give him more money. Ridiculous. Now, this is interesting. Featured in the Express today, a whole heap of Chelsea rumours, but there are a couple that have caught my eye. First, Chelsea are interested in a couple of youngsters. Mohamed Sanko from Stoke, the striker, playing for the under-18s. He scored nine goals, nine assists in 16 games. Lamandi Collins, the Dortmund teenager, who's 16-year-old defender. He's featured all over the media and the press at the moment. He's another one that Chelsea are looking to lure away from Dortmund. And to this one, Chelsea are looking to complete a double raid for two of Lille's brightest talents. As we know, Gabriel Magalhães, the defender, the Brazilian defender is linked with Chelsea, heavily linked with a move to Everton. It's been touted that he would go to Everton, but Chelsea is still in the, in the running, apparently, but also with his teammate, Victor 
Ossiman, striker, but they expect that he would be sold for a lot more money than Pepe was, and Pepe was signed for 72 million. Here's one right out the blue. Chelsea star William in negotiations with Liverpool as a free transfer. What do you think on this? Would you rather Chelsea try and convince him to sign a two-year deal and get him to stay, or would you be happy if he left the club and went to Liverpool or Tottenham, for example? Let me know in the comments section below. So this has been the 5 Minute Chelsea Staff News. Let me know if you liked the video by smashing that like button for me. Then subscribe to the channel and hit the bell for notifications so you don't miss any of my videos that come out. Let me know all your comments in the comment section below. Thank you so much for your support already. Make sure you check out the other two videos that are going to be linked here also. And I'll see you next time.